Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we are Martin Midlife Misadventures. What do we got? We have a small dumpster dive, uh -huh. and she's repackaging food. Yep, I'm still repackaging food, using recycling anything I absolutely can to protect our investment. Yes. This food is an investment. <laughs> and our dumpster dive, ah! So fun. It was fun. It's little because we actually got there on garbage yeah. day, and they had been picked up earlier, but they still had thrown away some good stuff. Yeah, we got good stuff. It are you ready? Fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. She is pulling it out and throwing it in here. I already got a couple things out myself, but look, this stuff isn't, uh, this isn't food. It didn't expire. It's all full. I don't get it. Okay, here is what we pulled out of that dumpster. We Today was garbage day, so the dumpsters weren't that full, but they each had food in them, huh? Yes. They had food, they had sliced up meat, and one of them, look at this, we ended up with two 12 packs of Diet Coke. How many cases you think was in there? At least 10. There was at least 10 others, okay, but we couldn't get to them. There was a shirt. I'll pull that out in a second and show it to you. I want to show you all these different silicone caulkings. Look at this big stretch. That's for your door frames and whatnot. Everything's full, unopened, ready to go. Whole thing of copper spray paint. Look at this. This is a grow light. Isn't this awesome? And it's not broken. Not broken at all. Ready to go. We got these funny little batteries. I've never seen these kind before, but we'll take them. And there were a ton, a ton of these brass different compression fittings, connectors. Look at that big honking one. These things are expensive. I can't believe they just throw them in the trash. We've got uh, a driver bit, another driver bit, and then some different screwdriver bits. These boxes are filled with more connectors for compression. I can't believe they just threw them all away. Look at that. Boxes and boxes of them. Let me show you this. It needs to have a little bit of a wash, but it's actually a really cool shirt. So we will give that a wash. Okay, we're still protecting all that food, okay? All these boxes that Kitty's watching over all these boxes of pasta I transferred into these cereal containers. This was a three pack of cereal containers. I think we paid five dollars for it for all three of them over at the uh, Family Dollar. The large one was able to hold about nine and a half pounds of regular spaghetti. I also put some press and seal over the top and then put the lid on. That made the lid stay on super, super tight. And it actually creates another air, like a airtight thing in here. So I'm happy about that. This is all macaroni, same thing. And this is like those little ziti. Uh, type pastas. I actually don't have the wrapping here right now. For rice, oh no, let's do the rest of the pasta. You see these? These are, these were sheet sets, okay? And we've kept the these for a long time, but I actually was able to put nine boxes of angel hair pasta in this one. Okay, so we've got nine pounds of pasta in this one, and same thing here. This one's fettuccine, and then we have, I had one extra spot. So we've got eight pounds of fettuccine and one pound of spaghetti inside these sheet sets. For the rice, last year at the uh, thrift store, I bought this one gallon jug for like 50 cents. It's an old apple juice jug. So I filled it with four pounds of rice. And I also filled some a jelly jar and this ragu. These each have, this one has a little over a pound, and this one has a pound. See my chihuahua right there. But I'm not joking. I am repackaging and trying to protect absolutely all of our food. All right, everybody. How about that dumpster dive? I love it. That was I just fun. love it. It's so fun. It was fun. But that dumpster was full of a lot more sodas, and there yeah. was there was a lot more things we, we in We could there. have gotten more, but we don't want to get caught. No, we just get a little... It's all we got, so we can't get kicked out. <laughs> of our only store. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be horrible? Oh, that would be awful. Oh, man. 
And let's talk about the repackaging. Absolutely anything I can put something in, I'm going to. And those little sheet sets for the pasta, that's temporary. I eventually um, am going to get some airtight containers for those. And uh, you've got to protect it. You've just absolutely got to protect it. Another way, and a lot of you have asked, how do you keep mice out of your pantry? Balsam oil? Yeah. Tell them. Yeah. You know, I've been in pretty much every house on this mountain at this point, and the only people that have never had a problem with mice use balsam oil. And that's their only defense. Yeah. And they have, they have dogs. They feed deer, like, yeah. out. I mean, it's crazy that you will never see anything mouse-related at yeah. their house. And I've been in every nook and cranny of yeah. that house. There has not been a mouse poop. Yep. So. So, balsam oil. Put it on a cotton ball. Put it in the corners. Um, if you have Along animals, the walls yeah. where they travel. If you have animals who are sensitive to different smells, like we have a cat, really make sure you get it to where the animal can't get to it. It's it could be toxic for them to breathe it. Yeah. But man, it's it only works. if they're super sensitive. Yeah. But it works. It mm -hmm. works and it keeps them at bay. So get yourself some balsam oil. I'll actually leave you a link for what we get. And uh, you can check that out. Yeah. All right. Please give us a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment. And we're going to be talking to you really soon, everybody. Keep stacking it. Yeah. Stack it to Don't the rafters and do not stop. God bless you all. Shalom.